two. Two live oaks. Yes. Two live oaks. Yes. Trees were handed out by the bushel. And next. But this wasn't simply a landscaping project. Trees for Tomorrow was started to reforest the area after local residents who were tired of seeing so much asphalt and concrete and steel uh, decided to do something about reforestation. Trees for Tomorrow partnered up with South Carolina Forestry Commission, Total Tree Care, and Merle's Inlet Seafood to provide 2,000 tree saplings for free in order to save the environment. And I have to, these roots are going to have to grow upwards and then it's going to have a whole explosion of roots right through here. John Jensen brought his blueprints and pictures to show exactly what he wants to do with his trees. I want it to look like that again, yes. After a messy land battle, he finally got his property back and is looking to rejuvenate it and today gave him a head start. I, I saw the opportunity to replace all the trees that were destroyed. That's basically what I'm here for. And Rick Bauman says that's exactly what this whole project is about. Before I'm on the other side of the grass, I want to ride around and look at all these baby trees that we planted grow it up, or halfway grow it up, and, and smile. Making sure tomorrow's generations have plenty of trees. In Merle's Inlet, Brianna Smith, WPDE News Channel 15.